Hey everyone, Cassie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel for another video. Today we have the Autumn Harvest uh, Trinity Stamps release. It is a big one and fall is like my favorite time to make cards. Fall, Halloween, all of that wonderful stuff and there is so much in here. So we're going to try and get through it. Um, hang with me. We're going to kind of bounce around a little bit. But we're first going to start off with some older stamp sets that now have coordinating dies. So one of the older ones was this fly by, and I thought this was great. It's a beautiful silhouette, you know, super cute with our, our little witch and the bats, and then just doing a little fly by. And then we have dies to go with all of the images in that. So I didn't get a chance to play with that with the new matching dies yet, but I love this little silhouette. I, make, I made a few cards last season with it, and it was super fun. Our next one is the Trick or Treat. So another great silhouette stamp. This is great on Slimline. You can make this full beautiful scene with it. And then we have the matching dies for all of it, including the Trick or Treat. So all the words, all of it. So it's great. I haven't gotten a chance to play with that one yet either, but I cannot wait. And then another one is the a sentiment for almost everything. So you may have to kind of search around for the one that works, but I love that we have the sentiments or the dies to go with all the sentiments. This one is definitely a staple. It's got some really great ones in there. Praying for you is one that I use a lot, um, but it has a little bit of everything in there. So sending many blessings your way. Love that. That's so great. You know, we got Mother's Day, Father's Day, all those. I'm so proud of you, um, but we have the dies for it now, so that is fantastic. So put those on your list if you have those sets. Uh, and now we are going to start going through some of the stamp sets. So now some of the stamp sets that we have that are brand new are, this first one is called Witch's Brew, and I haven't played with this one yet either, but I am so stoked to do it. Look at how darling that little image is. Our sentiments say, Witching you a happy Halloween, best witches on your birthday, and a special brew for you. I just think that one's super cute. I can see pairing this one up since that one says a special brew for you. Maybe doing, uh, if you remember the dyes that you could make like a pumpkin spice latte or, you know, like a ghost coming out of it, you could do those in the background. That would be super cute. And I love the little cat. And of course we have our matching dyes for all of it, including all of our sentiments. Next up, which is another one I haven't played with yet, but you know I'm going to, is the Spooky Saurus. I love it. I, re I loved when last Christmas we had the little um, dinosaurs that made up the tree and stuff. Those were so cute. So our, our sentiments say Spooky Saurus Rex, Trick, Roar, Treat, and Candy Attack. And then you also have some little like, you know, trying to make the word an emphasis on the word. And he's got a little bucket and he's got a sucker. How cute. So we've got um, dies to go with all of that as well. Uh, the only thing you don't have a die for would be our little emphasis marks. Okay, next up we have um, Thankful and Grateful. Now this is a stamp set I've played with quite a bit here. Um, I even have a video that came out today. So we've got our beautiful, like almost like a cornucopia. Then we have Thankful and Grateful. And then our dies cut out all the or the the image and then all the words including the ampersand so i do have a sample for that one that one is the one from our video that i have today so if you'd like to see how i made these head back to the channel and you can check it out but these are some little four bar cards that i made just colored those with um, alcohol markers then we have our pumpkin bouquet, and I love this one. It's beautiful. It's really fun to color. It's just two stamps, and you do have um, the die that cuts out not only the image, but the Happy Thanksgiving as well. And I, of course, made something with this one. And I'll have a video showing this one later also because, oof, super fun. And I love the colors. I love how that turned out. Now we have this one called Gorgeous, <laughs> and you've got nine little gourds, and you also have the sentiment that says, Hello Gorgeous, and we have all of the dies to cut out everything here. And then I did make this one using that. I watercolored those. That was so much fun. So much fun. Our next one up is filled with gratitude. 
And this one is another four by six stamp set. And it's got the big die, and then we also have filled with gratitude, or die, the big image, and then we have filled with gratitude. And I say big die because there's the one die for it. So we don't have the word one for the words, but we do have one for the envelope. And I watercolored this one also. This one was definitely another, whoops, favorite that I had made. I, oh my gosh, I had so much fun making these. I love to stamp them out and just kind of color and then see what comes of it. Next up is the Harvest Blessings. So it's this really pretty um, kind of curved stamp with our pumpkin and some little pumpkin flowers and some leaves. And then you've got the pumpkin and we have the words Harvest Blessing. Our dies include dies to cut out the words ex like right around it and then our two images. And the one I made for that is another five by seven and I watercolored that one as well. Cut out the words. I stamped that onto some colored cardstock I love how that turned out. You're obviously going to see these cards again because they have some new stuff on them. Uh, more than just what I just showed you. So now we have the sheets and giggles. <laughs> and I don't know what it is about these ghosts. I love the size of them. And I just, I think they're so cute. I like how they're like holding up their arms and this one's just kind of flying through. Our sentiments say, you're fabulous. Oh, sheet, you have a beautiful soul. Boo, shake your booty, have a spooktacular Halloween and happy spooky season. And the one I made for this, I love this one also. I watercolored it using some shimmering watercolors and so it has a good shine to it, but this one was super fun to make as well. Love how that turned out. Next up for our stamps, this is, I think this is our final stamp set as well. This one is called um, Punny Mummy. So we've got Punny Mummy. <laughs> you've got a couple of mummies and you have lots of great sentiments and you've got the dies for all of it. So we've got You're So Well Preserved. <laughs> From your, and then you could put grand or mummy, grand mummy or mummy. <laughs> That's so great. Uh, happy Mummy's Day. <laughs> That's awesome. So already thinking about Mother's Day. That's fun. So so for those friends of yours or you know loved ones that like Halloween all year round, you could do a Happy Mummy's Day for them. Uh, we've got You're the Best. Take time to unwind. That's a wrap. Spooky Mail, Happy Halloween, Unwrap Me, and A Special Treat. And like I said, dies for all of that. And here is the card I made using that one. Again, I watercolored in this one. I used some shimmering watercolors as well. For the background, I had used some shimmering paint on my um, gel plate. And so this was just a fun one to make. Really had a good time with it. And I made it a birthday card. <laughs> You're so well preserved, just has me laughing. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some standalone dies. So we have, and there, there's foiling plates as well. So if you haven't jumped on that foiling bandwagon, now is the time, I'm telling you. So here is this one. This is the Shimmering Winds. Now, there is a stencil that was previously released. There's also a couple of stamp sets that go along with this and they all just match perfectly. So if this is something you're like, oh, I love that, just know that there is matching stuff to go with it. I used this one on our Harvest Blessing card here. I did it here and I did it here on a five by seven. I just thought that was super fun to do, um, just foiling it, you know. So you do have to have a Glimmer Hot Foil Plate. Um, those are by Spellbinders and I, I will have it linked, one linked down below, but if you haven't jumped on that bandwagon, oh my gosh, it's, it's so fun. It's addictive. I'll just say that. Once I kind of got the hang of it by playing around, it's addictive. Totally addictive. Okay, next up is our ha Haunted House cutout. So here's that. And I have a shaker tag that I made. So I, and I use the Happy Halloween from the new, um, not new, it's the sentiment for almost anything, but it had the dyes. So I just used some newer uh, embellishments that went in there and kind of just made a little shaker tag. So this would be kind of fun to attach to a present or some candy or whatnot. But yeah, super fun. 
All right, next up is our Man in the Moon. And this one's interesting because not only is it a cut in foil so that you can make your little moon face, I don't have a sample to go with it, but it's got two circles, the face, the foil, which I foiled right on this one. There's also a stencil that coordinates with it. So you get, it's like four like sections on this six by six stencil. You've got a mask. You could make earth or you could, or well, I did see somebody make an earth with it, which I thought was super clever. You could make the moon or you could do the face over it or foil it. So there's options here and it's, I don't know, I just think it's super cool. So there's the man in the moon. Next up, we've got our beautiful harvest cut in foil. Let me see where that one is. Okay. All right, it's this one. So here's our beautiful harvest and it is a solid. So I did this on colored cardstock just to kind of see and that is super pretty I'm using like an opal foil and it showed up really pretty, but it has the, the foiling and the cut. So the die cut that goes with it. Here's one I made using that and I did it using some orange foil on white and then I blended over the top with some orange ink and I just think that looked, that just worked out really nicely. Um, so love that. Uh, next up, we have our Haunted Hill die set. So our Haunted Hill looks like this and I didn't get a chance to make something with this but I, I do have plans. It has, you know, your hill, with the tree, we also have a witch and a ghost and a bat and a cat and another small tree and then another little bat over here. So that one's really pretty. I know that the design team has done some really cool things with it. So I love that one. Then we have our spooky sentiment. So I just have these all together just trying to save some space. But our spooky sentiment is a foil. So you have the spooky to be able to foil and then you have the cut or you know the die cut and the shadow. So if you decide to foil it, you can shadow cut it. Or if you decide just to die cut it out, you can um, cut out the shadow using that as well. Again, plenty of ideas running through my head for ways to use those because we have Halloween coming up. All right, then we have our Slimline Spooky Scene Builder. And that looks like this. Again, didn't get a chance to play with this one before the release, but I have... I, there, I mean, this is just great because it, you could just using this make uh, cards on a slim line or even a five by seven, I think would be really good for this one. But this is great for background building. So if you wanted to build a spook, spooky scene in the background, maybe even use that little man in the moon stencil in the background as well, or any of the stamps that I showed you like spooky source or witch's brew, um, these would go great with it. So. I'm super, super pumped about that one. We have our Aster Bloom. So here's our Aster Bloom. It comes, this is a foil, and then you've got the pieces to cut it out, you know, on the sides. Let me pull out the one I made. So I made this one, again, using that opal foil on some purple cardstock, and ooh, that, that just Yes. And then I did bring in some green colored pencil just to kind of pop, make the background pop a little more. And so I used some colored pencil just on the leaves and the stems. And then as you see these little hearts, those are a new embellishment as well. So that one's fun. And that fits very nicely on an A2 size card. So I like that a lot. Next up, we have Ripe Pumpkin. Now our Ripe Pumpkin, it's so cute. Um, so you can foil it, which is what I did here. Then you've got the shadow cut. Then you've got this detailed pumpkin. You could keep the little pieces in there and paper piece it in. You can make a jack-o'-lantern face with it. And then we even have the little stems to go with it. So the one I made for this, Looks like this. So I foiled it and then I used the, the face, the jack-o'-lantern face and cut it right out of the foil piece. I cut out a black background and just stuck it on the back. And then we have our little stems and stuff. 
And because the foiling obviously does, you know, one color, I decided to use the cut from here to put it on top of my stem. So I thought that was neat. Okay, next up we have the acorn cluster, and this one might be one of my favorites from this release. I just love it. The whimsical look of those acorns. Oh, and I did this using a brown foil. So here's your foil, and then here's your, your die cut for it, and it's going to give you that. And so what I did for the card that I made was I just used some alcohol markers on top of it trying to be a little bit careful to not go over, the, even though it's brown, trying not to go over too much of the top. And then I did use, again, these are like some of those trinkets. There's a bunch of colors being re or that are released. I just used like the rectangle pieces, but in those trinkets you get all kinds of little um, shapes, which is super cool, so. Now we have the Seasons Bounty. And our Seasons Bounty is, an, I say, that last one was my favorite, but I love this one too. So you get not only the foil, you also get the die cut for that and to die cut out the inside as well. So that's how I got that. And I did it in blue. And this is the card I made. I used colored pencils on that. But dang, that shine. Oh, mama likey. So love it. And then the sentiment that I used for that one actually came from the thankful and grateful that you saw earlier. All right, then we have our large branch, which I didn't get a chance to play with, but this is like an outline. So you could paper piece in the inside pieces of those leaves. This is a really pretty one. It's large, um, it's gonna do a pretty good job of covering the front of an A2. Or do several of them and you can make five by seven or even a slim line with that one, that one's great. Then we have our grateful sentiment and this one you get the two dies, the one that does your shadow, and then one that does the grateful. It's nice and tiny, it's cute. And I have several samples for that one. But here's the other die. So let me show you those samples. So you saw this one. I did some brown and then I did the shadow of the white for it. Then I just used the um, skinny grateful on some gold. I thought that turned out really beautiful. Did I have any more? Oh yes, this one. I did it on some yellow, like a very light yellow cardstock. And then I have this orange color as well behind it. And the reason I did that is because of the new embellishment that is out. Um, it's these pretty leaves you see, but they've got like a turquoise color in there and the yellow and the orange. And I just thought that really popped on there. Those are the crunchy leaves, love them. So that's all the places I think I used the Grateful, which I used it a lot. Um, grateful is one of those that for me especially, because I'm always sending out thank yous, is something that gets used a lot. All right, now we have some more foil. We have this vintage tin tile, and this is just a background foil. There isn't a die cut to go around it because you could match this up beautifully with any of the rectangle dies that we have. Um, the modern emboss one would be really pretty on here. The card that I made for this one, and it foiled so pretty on even this red, and it's almost a little textured cardstock. I did that opal on that background, and oh my goodness, I love it. So this is a five by seven card, so uh, it did a pretty good job, and it fills almost that entire background. So I love this so much. You're gonna see that a lot. Then we have our A7 Diamond Eyelet. Is that the one? Oh, no, that's this one. So here it is, A7 Diamond Eyelet. And so A7 is your 5x7, and I used it as an embossing plate. So if you read your um, instructions for your die cutting machine, you can use your die cuts for embossing and so I just used it to emboss the background and I love how it gives that pillow feel Oof, it's so cool and then I did use it again on this one as it was intended and this is one of those that you it's only going to there's no um, cut around it it will just cut into the paper and then you can cut it to the size that you want it but isn't that pretty and there's I mean you might need a shim because it is kind of tiny 
I didn't, but yeah, isn't that neat? Love that die. All right, next up is our Argyle Stitch. And so let me pull that out. You saw this one on the four bar that I did. And once again, it is a plate, so it's just going to cut that into it. Uh, it isn't going to die cut around. So I did that for these eight or these four bar cards. You can see that on there. And I also used it on one more. Where did I use it? Didn't I? Yes, I did. I used it on this one. It's on that background. You can see the die cutting in there. So I did use it there. I think this plate is so fun. Okay, now we are going to move on to our stencils. I already showed you our moon stencil, our moon layer that had our um, man in the moon. So I showed you that one. We also have a color swatching. So it's got a square grid and a circle grid. So this could be a lot of fun for any of the color swatching that you might wanna do. Um, yeah, I didn't get a chance to use this one, but I think this one would be really pretty, even to just add like a rainbow to a background and just add a sentiment. So I think there's a lot of potential here with this color swatch one. Then next up we have our foliage flare, which is this one. And it is a two piece stencil. So you get your two pieces and you've got your embossing on there. So they're super easy to line up. I did it on this one, as you can see, and I did use two different colors. So that kind of makes that background a little bit like that. Did I use it on any others? I did not, um, but I do like this. This is a beautiful stencil. Gives you that. To me, it kind of gives it a wallpaper feel. I don't know why, but I like it. I don't like wallpaper, but I do like, I like the look of this, especially on paper. <laughs> and then we also have our retro diamond pattern. And I use this one on a couple as well, I think. So you've got your diamonds, so you can match those up and do two different colors, which is great. Or you can do your... Um, diagonal lines. I used this, I used these on this one. So I did just kind of line it up and then um, did it for the other one. And then I also used this one on here and I just did it like so and then flipped it or flipped it the other way or something like that so that I could get like a striped pattern and then I gradiated it up. So really fun. Okay, and all right, we do have a couple of other new tools, which I've got to tell you, I'm really excited about. Okay, so you know I love the Blender Buddies, but those Blender Buddies are no longer available. And what I think that Trinity Stamps has done is really, really clever. Um, I've got a couple of them here. So this one's unused yet, but I'm going to buy more. <laughs> Uh, these are so good for your hands and let me tell you softness is great and the way they blend is like seamless sometimes I did have issues with my blender buddies so I just had to like be sure how I was using the pressure um, but these are just so nice for your hands and I don't have issues with getting too heavy handed, whereas sometimes I did with the other ones. So they come with their own little caps. They come in this cute little box that you could reuse, <laughs> which I have plans for. But yes, I, I love it. The first time I tried it and it picks up a ton of color. It, I mean, I think I'm going to need one for each color family. So, um, oh golly, and I just want to just touch it. <laughs> it's so soft. It just makes me happy. And I, like I said, I like the way, uh, the older I get, the more I'm, real, I'm having issues with my, my fingers, so my knuckles. So I love this, very happy. And then the little thing goes on so simply and it snaps into place. And then you can just toss these in a drawer so they take up a lot less space in my opinion as well. So this is great. 
Then the other thing we have is our Crafty Glue Friend by Trinity Stamps. So it is a nice big glue stick with a, a tip. It's got a precision tip and I've been using it. I used it on all of these cards and it works great. It dries clear, I really like it. And then you can use it in your little glue stand if you have one. So that works out really great. Um, and if you're curious about where I got the glue stand, that's Make It by Marco. I love his stuff. Okay, so that is really all that I have for you today. We've got new tools, we've got all kinds of stamps and foils and you know all of it all of the good stuff it's all oh, if you love fall as much as I do it's my it's my favorite I will say it it is my absolute favorite time of year I don't know if it's just because things are starting to cool down or if it's because it's the we're rolling into the season of all the get-togethers and the you know family time and stuff but I just I love fall. So yeah, I'm going to have um, at least a store or a link to the store down below. And I am going to do my best to try and link everything specifically. But otherwise, there is a link to the store if you'd like to go shopping. And if there's anything here that you saw, go ahead and leave a comment in the comment section, either telling me what your favorite product was that you saw, or one of these cards that's your favorite, or if there's one of these that you're like, I would really love to see you remake that let me know in the comment section because I love to read those. All right, y'all, I'm going to let you go. If you like this video, hit that like button. Consider subscribing if you haven't already done so, and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye, everybody.